Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Endless Space 2 with Zebu Nation. We're going to get right back into it here because this is an abbreviated week thanks to the 4th of July holiday. So there's only going to be uh, three videos this week, right? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So we'll try to make them a little bit more exciting than the last video. I sounded half asleep in the last video. I rewatched it and I was... I don't know. I don't know what was happening that day. I think it was just a long, another long recording session. So we'll try to be a little bit more peppy in this video. So here we are, turn 108, just about over, but we got one last thing to do, which is right here in Pavo. We got to finish off this little battle. It's just, you know, our huge fleet against one of their colonizer ships. So I don't think we really need to do much. Other than, uh, let's see, is Barrage Fire? We don't even need to watch that, really. Although it would be cool to see our big fleet in action. I mean, it's not going to take very long, right? We could even do post-op analysis here. Go advanced. I mean, we should have two flotillas here. Got our big ship. Big new ship, the Guardian. It's more of a medium-range ship. As you can see here, the lanes, we've got long range and then medium range. So we'll move the Guardian into the center formation. With the Defender, with the Hero flagship. And uh, we can move the gunship out long. The Corvette, which is all long. The Escort, which is also mostly long range. So there we go. We have two flotillas of three versus their one little guy there. We'll... We'll watch that just to see our fleet warp in. Uh, uh, let's see who's going to warp in. Nope, nobody's going to warp in. They retreated. Lost half their hull. Don't know where they went. But hopefully they went to Pixis and get destroyed right there. Alright, so now we have this system, Pavo. We have them under siege. And good things going on. We've got our, our fleet forming here on Cersini. we got a fleet in Pixis. So we're going to be doing some good stuff here. Let the offensive begin. All right. Next turn. Uh, we got some Empire stuff to worry about. Namely, manpower. I mean, we've got a little bit of problem with dust. we got minus 65 dust happening at the moment. But minus 206 manpower is not going to do any good. Oh, it's just dropped to minus 66. Alright, competitive quest failed. Founders, keepers, another empire has beaten you to colonizing Hadar. Well, that was way on the other side of the universe, so there's nothing we can do there. Battle at Pixis. Okay, here we are. Um, how did this fleet get to Pixis is the question. I don't know, but we got uh, well, let's Let's check out the advanced here. Um, they've got a butcher, which is all short range. They've got short range slicer 11, slicer 11. So again, another all long or all short range fleet from them. It's just bad news. Bad, bad news. Bad news for them anyway. Good news for us. All right, so again, post-op analysis is... Oh, we we got barrage fire going on here. So one long range, one medium range. I don't know which one is better. That one goes straight at them. If they come straight at us, that's no good. I think barrage fire is better versus the turtle. So let's see. What do we got here? Gunship, gunship, and gunship. That's fine. And drop ship. Defender and Positron. I think I want to move. I think I want to move the Defender into this flotilla just to make sure they don't shoot at those gunships over there. So that'll be good. All right. Um, let's go. Let's see them uh, get blasted again. You know these Cravers with their terrible ship design, or at least learned yet they're supposed to learn is what i understood you know when they when they start fighting you and you start fighting a certain way they're supposed to adapt 
how they fight and how they build their ships. But so far they have not done that. So there's our Positron leading the fleet, or at least leading the charge. Here they are warping in with their short range ships. I mean, maybe these are just ships they've, they've already had built and they're just waiting to use them and, and they've got new fleets coming in, but I don't know. I haven't seen any yet. Well, I guess that's not true. They've got, they've had a few ships here and there that had some long range capabilities, but they're few and far between. Did that already blow up? Are we already blowing up their ships? Is this a, uh... No, they're just getting hammered on. Slicer 11 is just about to go down. That's a beautiful twin stars system there. We're blasting away. One ship down. Bites the dust. We can use the uh, the overview camera to see where we're at in the battle. We're about in the mid-range here. Coming through. We're going to end up in the short range. So they're going to get a few shots at us over here. We're staying in the mid-range, so there's no, no good for them. There we go. That's the last of that fleet. Their, their second flotilla is destroyed, so we're pouring all of our fire down on this last fleet of theirs. Auto camera is what I'm trying to do. Auto camera. I forgot what button to push. There we go. All right. So we're getting three quarters of the way of the battle. It has already passed. They've only got two ships left, right? Or is that three? Three ships left. And, uh... What can you say? They're just going to get hammered. So I think I need to be a little bit more aggressive against these Cravers. I need to press the attack. You know, maybe I'm, I'm a little too conservative against these guys. Because I'm winning just about every battle. Every battle where I've got anywhere near... Anywhere near the number of ships that they've got... Um, even if I'm outnumbered a little bit, I still... Uh, one slicer left. Come on. Come on. Even if I'm a little bit outnumbered, it doesn't really matter. Alright, let's... Battle at Pavo. Where did this... Where did these jokers come from? Where on earth did those jokers come from? I do not know, but now we're going to see a real battle. All right, so they got a Butcher 5, short range, short range, and Slicer. Again, they're going to get roasted. So let's do the Barrage Fire. Again, let's go to Advance so we can check out our Flotillas. All right, we've got the Guardian... The flagship and the corvette. That's okay, maybe. Defender, escort, and gunship. Hmm. So I think because these... This uh, flotilla always stays at medium range, I think... Um, you know, we don't necessarily need that. We can put the corvettes and the gunships over here. And everything should be fine. You know, they'll they'll just blast away. And this this fleet has a lot of defensive capabilities. It's got a defender, a guardian, and an escort. So all three of those are defensive ships. So I don't know where they're going to shoot. I don't know. I don't know where we're going to get our firepower from. I guess those gunships are going to have to do a lot of damage. And our new flagship. We haven't seen the flagship in action yet. It's got 102 attack. That's pretty good. Not the best in the world. Uh the gunships have more than that. And oh, there we go. The Guardian has 385, so that's pretty good. Um but yeah. Let's go. So again, it's going to be another massacre until they uh, until they change their fleets. I don't know. I would oh, 
How about we start our timer? So I was about to say we're wasting our time watching these battles, but it's it's fun to watch the battles, especially when I'm winning, so that's no big deal. But, uh, yeah, we should at least start the timer so we know exactly how much time we are wasting. 30 minutes on the clock. There's our lovely fleet. That looks like our new... Whoa, there we go. There are the cravers warping in there. There's our big boy. Loading up the defenses. Lots of cool new ships in this fleet. Some new designs. We'll see exactly how they work. Blasting away already. Let's go to the overview camera real quick. So we're going to be at long range here. There's their... They've, each fleet has a butcher in it, so it'll take us a while to to knock those down. You can see what we're shooting at. Half the flotilla here is shooting at the big ship. And then... Uh, that's our command ship shooting at their uh, slicer. And then everybody on this flotilla is focusing on the butcher. So that's probably a good idea. We'll go back to the auto camera. There's the guardian with its many, many turrets firing away. Defender just has one Galifier laser. Was that a missile I saw? Do we have any missile ships? There's our flagship firing away. There goes the butcher. Could not relent. Yeah, okay, we must have a gunship there firing off a missile. Double laser turrets and double machine gun turrets firing away. Yeah, they're not used to this. They're used to us having just these tiny ships. Uh-oh. They're within range of one of our fleets. They can do a lot of damage with those missile or with those uh, plasma lasers, but they didn't really didn't really have them long to to fire. We've got our whole fleet now firing at this guy. Oh no, they had two ships left. So there's there goes the last one. Decisive victory. And again, our strategies, our tactics. So the escort eight. I can't remember if that's the one that has the ship regeneration on it or not. We got 950 dust, 950 science, 52 experience points. Every time we uh, destroy these ships, they're just giving us loot. That must be our, it's our military laws that are that's doing that. But yeah, the escort, I don't think we can quite look at the modules on that. But I think that's one of the ships that uh, um, repairs the whole fleet. Anyway, uh, we got another battle here. We'll do this one quick, just get rid of that last... Uh, Slicer, we don't need to watch it. Just fight. Turtling is uh, not a big deal. We should be able to destroy that ship pretty quickly. And there it is. Not much damage. And away we go. Alright. What is this now? An enemy fleet. The 10th Slaying Horde. It's a logistics ship. It's delivering cravers to that freaking system in Sable. Um, Alright, let's move our ships. Station is almost on board. Check out these guys. So we got a settler here. What are we going to do with the settler? Alright, so we've got a couple of options here. We've got Cersini 3 and Cersini 4. So basically the only difference is they both have 4 production, no food, no science. But uh, Cersini 3 has 2 dust, Cersini 4 
has three dust and an anomaly, which is the dust ruins, and that's why it's got slightly more dust. So we're going to drop a colony right there. Ooh, this is not a good looking planet. This is going to be a harsh production based world. We're going to use this to build our fleets to crush the old uh, Craver Empire. And uh, we'll do. Hmm. Okay, so it actually does have six food on it. So that's better than the zero I was expecting. So if we do the 950 dust, we'll get a plus 100%. So that'll boost us up to almost 12 food. Probably 11 point something. But anyway, um, that's good enough, I suppose. Let's go down the checklist here on the right. We got some Hisho on Dobrynya. Good. We need that. And then there's our uh, chain gang on Gemini going to join the armed forces. Alright, there we got Cerebral Reality, Drone Network, and Level 2 Modernization on Gikra. We got Farms up next, and one Xenotourism in Dobrynya, so we'll build all that stuff. Alright, Science. We've got the Improved Fleet Management. Alright. Hmm. The, complex the complexities of managing a fleet are enormous. And more so when the problem of time, distance, and communication stretch across the galaxy. Empire researchers have nevertheless used advanced dust and quantum coupling theory to allow real-time C3 command of fleets. Nervous commanders make decisions knowing that Zelovus may be listening. Uh, so we have new support module, OpX gear that lets us have additional manpower, and the phased... The basic phased beam. It's a beam weapon, short range. Does a lot of damage. We don't really use much short range. And our next research up is Agri Drugs. The Patriot Pill sends plus 20% food to manpower, so that's good. And then the advanced Uranef class hull upgrade. So it unlocks additional module slots for Hyperium. Right? That's what that's called. Anyway. Uh, we can build a new class of ship once that's done. And that should be done pretty soon. Take a look at our science. Our science should be going crazy right now. Science per turn, 1167. 900 surplus science. The amount of surplus science from the previous turn that will be used for your next research. Okay. So we spent 900 more than we needed to, to to finish off that last science. But as you can see, this is going to be done in two turns. So that's good. We still have 51 turns of research left to go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, all right, all right. So these boys in this fleet over here, the Third People's Navy... They've got three command points left, so we'll be able to merge that, the station, once it gets there. We'll be able to mer merge that, and we'll have a, a whole fleet there. Um, right now we're defending Pixis. I would really like to send them up to Sable and uh, barricade that colony, but that's not going to happen right away. So we'll just uh, end the turn and move along. I don't think there's anything else that needs to happen. Don't have any other ships going on here. Doria are still hanging out there for whatever reason. Oh yeah, I was going to check. Are we actually at war with the Cravers? Yeah, we are actually... Cause now that our military is in control, the more the more people we're at war with, the better off, you know, the happier our people are. Which is super weird, but hey, what can you say? Alright, we're going to end the turn. Keep 
on rolling. So I gotta I gotta put an end to this Craver War, but I have to end it with victory, not end it with peace. So I need to start being a little bit more aggressive, I think. Although I don't necessarily have the manpower that I desire. Oh, look at that. Plus one manpower. That's good. <laughs> All right. Um, let's move our fleets. Where did that Craver fleet go that was right there? I guess I should have attacked them while I could. How'd they get through that system? I guess we weren't Uh, we weren't guarding the system, dang it. Alright, so what does this system have in terms of defense? They've got 822 manpower, and our fleet has not that much. I can't see. we got 141 infantry versus they've got... I mean, we have the advantage, but not a big advantage. So we'll stay there for a little bit. Now, I was going to move this fleet up to Sable, but since i got that other fleet floating around here, I'll, uh, I'll wait here at Pixis for them. Now, over here, we can merge these two fellers together and create the Third People's Navy. With our mercenary ship and Corvette Corvair, our new Corvair ship. Defender Mark VI and a second Corvair, so we're looking pretty good there. Send them down and we'll send those guys up to Sable. And then we have our one Lightning here, another one of our new ships. Fast Attacker. We'll leave him there to guard Cersini while we're building the colony. Speaking of colonies... We can now colonize planets over here on Karana uh, because we can colonize Toxic. Now, these planets aren't the greatest in the world. This one, in fact, is irradiated, so we don't really want to colonize that one. But we could colonize Karana too, get a little bit more dust. I mean, it's got pretty decent dust production. It's got at least a little bit of regular manufacturing, and it's got a little bit of food, so that's not the worst for a toxic planet. But it also has this planet down here, Corona 3, a tiny snow planet. Which would be pretty good to colonize as well. It has a uh, psychoactive air anomaly that makes everybody happier who lives there. It also has deciduous trees and Eden incense, so that would give us even more resources. More dust, more science. It doesn't have any production, though, so that's no good. Um... But I don't know. That's that's secondary concerns right now as we're taking over the taking over the Craver Empire. Hopefully. All right. So what did we build here? We built sustainable farms, cerebral reality spin project. That's pretty good. All right. Yeah. So we've got minus ten. Manpower. Do we have any fleets coming out here in our production queue? We got this rifle sitting here. I think we can't build this rifle yet because um, we don't have the manpower to man it. So we're going to need another chain gang. Looking around. We could do a chain gang on Yersh possibly. I'm not seeing a lot of other options. Maybe on Gemini 2. Although we're currently trying to colonize Gemini 4, right? No, that's already colonized. It just doesn't have population on it. That's no good. Hmm. Okay, well, we're not going to... Uh, take anybody from a place that is already losing population I guess I guess it is Yersh then um, 
Take the chain gang from Yersh. Take some of these. Ooh, we don't want to take any Harishims. So they'll probably take the Mazari. I don't really want to take any of these people into the army. Maybe not. We'll cancel that. All right, who do we got? Who do we got? Hey, we're running out of, like, warrior races for our ships. The Calgaros, possibly. Harishims are everywhere. Here we go. There's the Hisho, but... There's not a lot of them left on Dobrynya. Yeah, I'll do it anyway. I'll chain gang them up. All right, there you go. Hopefully we can stop doing this chain gang very shortly. And, uh, you know, now that we're producing more food, we should be able to... Uh, the exotic rations down there, too. Now that we're producing more food, we should be able to produce more people and more troops by the by. All right. So there we go. That was a fairly uneventful turn. Let's go. Now every turn that we uh, barricade this system, it's going to get weaker. It'll make us make it that much easier for us to invade. What is this 17 ship fleet stuff? Okay, they've got a drop ship now. Their heroes are finally coming out to fight. Slicer 6, short range. Slicer 5s are the ones that can fire mid range. Slicer 7s, nope, short, short. Okay, it's again mostly short range. They've got Slicer 4 and a Slicer 5 and a dropship. You know, it's like uh, fish in a barrel time. So we'll do the barrage fire. Make sure we got the... Um... You know, I'm going to flip these around. I'm going to put the gunships over here. And I'm going to put these other ships over here. The drop ship and the positron. Um, you know, because if they charge straight at us... I mean, we've seen this battle play out many, many times now. And we know how it goes. So, let's fight. Let's fight. They'll charge straight at our middle group. Our middle group will veer away and eventually they'll come into contact... I mean, they got a lot of ships, so it'll take us a while to to beat these guys down, but we're going to have one whole flotilla that they're not even going to be able to touch. Well, maybe they could touch them a little bit because they have those three ships that can shoot, but it all depends. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, we're doing this again. The engine is struggling a little bit with all these, all these assets. There we go, there we go. See, now, I don't really know if that's the, um... If that's the game struggling, or if that's my recording software struggling. Because the recording software, I noticed a couple videos ago, they, uh... It popped up with the, like, be right back. Like it couldn't handle what was happening. So that's a possibility. Um, so... We're missing some of the, uh, special effects here. This is, uh... It... We go, we're getting closer. There we go, there we go. Let's check, let's check the overhead cam while they're worrying about that stuff. So yeah, these guys are going to stay in mid-range, but they do have some of their ships over here that can trade blows with us in the mid-range. So that'll be an interesting battle there. Over here we're going to blast away until they get into short range, and then we'll see what that's all about. 
So there's one ship down. That is the Marauder. So yeah, there's gunships taking a little bit of fire. There's some damage to the gunships. But they don't have enough ships, I don't think, in their fleet to destroy many of our ships, if any of our ships. Look at that guy. He's just getting pummeled. There goes another Craver ship. So this fleet is getting blasted. That's good. They're going to be in short range soon. There they are. They're in short range. So they're going to do some damage. But hopefully not too much. Hopefully we don't lose any ships. Oh wait. We've already lost a ship. We've lost a defender. So they did do some damage. And uh, we've just about lost a gunship here. Whoa. We lost our dropship as well. So this, this fleet has done a little bit more damage than I had hoped. A minor defeat. Um, they brought a lot of ships to bear. So they destroyed two of our ships. Our, our dropship... No, we destroyed two of their ships. That's it? Wow. So yeah, that was kind of a defeat. We lost our Positron finally and our Defender. And our dropship technically got destroyed, but since our fleet didn't get destroyed, he's still he's going to survive with a little bit of health. And he can repair himself after a battle, so we'll see how that works out. Alright, so we lost some Mazari on Dobrynia. That's not really what I wanted, but that's okay. Uh, we got some more population on Pictor, Miro, Mira, and Pixis. So that's... Good, good, production-wise. There, we finally built that rifle on Mira after the chain gang. We're going to need another chain gang to fill up this Corvair, so we probably should stop building ships at this point, because we just don't have the manpower to to deal with it. Uh, let's see, science-wise, agri-drugs have been finished. Patriot pills... Uh, the, ad the advanced urinive class, so we'll take a look at that may probably next time. Next research, we got a new battle tactic coming up. Survival suits is the research. We get a battle tactic. Uh, unlocks the following tactics. Irradiation, long defense, and diplomatic immunity. And then we've got improved uniform shielding defense module. So a new shield module, finally. And then a new support module, the basic flotilla shield. Oh, so it, it increases the shield strength of the entire flotilla. So that's pretty cool. Alright, we got that coming up next. But first, let's move these fleets around. What's happening here? How is Pavo looking? Um, their defense looks pretty much the same. Uh, I'm going to send this lightning down there now, too. Maybe, if I can. There we go. Just because that other fleet has lost ships, so now we got replacements for those ships. The so lightning and the rifle. Oh, we got to bring the rifle out of dry dock. Send it over to Cersini. Fifteen ships. I mean, uh, all right, let's attack these butchers, I suppose. Short, short, short. Um, yeah, I guess we'll stick here at long range and try to take these guys out before they get to us. I don't think that's going to happen. This might be a bad idea, but, uh, you know, we're going to go with it. We've got to take, got to take some of these fleets out. Um, you know, we got to, we can't have 15 ships sitting there. All 
All right, so there's their butchers on the other side of the solar system, and we're going to warp in and take them out. Long range snipe these guys. It's almost like they've got rams that they extend on off the front of their ships. So let's take a look at the overview camera. You can see this one guy might get close to us, so we're we're sending all of our firepower at this guy, and then these two guys are they're not gonna do anything. They're not gonna be within range, so good for them, good for us, good for everybody. Just blast away at this guy. So here he is, he's gonna repair himself after the battle too, so that's gonna be even good. We should escape this battle with no damage as long as we can kill this butcher, and it's looking like we will. He's already down to half hull, and the battle is, uh, you know, not even half over yet. Here's those two guys wishing they had some longer range weapons. Even if they just, they just equipped like some medium range guns. I mean, that's all they had to do. And uh, they would be winning a lot of these battles against us because they've got the superior numbers. They have definitely got the superior numbers of ships. So there's their first butcher going down. So now we're going to take care of these fellers at long range as well. And we're kind of mixing our strength between them. So we're probably not going to destroy either one of those. The battle is just about three quarters over. Well, we'll do some damage to them, and we knocked at least one of them out of the fight, so that's a positive. We'll get some health back, we'll get some experience points, we'll get a little bit of money. You know, at this point, maybe we should buy um, some mercenary ships. Go back to the auto camera real quick. Take our last couple of shots. Pepper away at these boys. How are they looking here? 4,000 on that guy. So a draw. Do we get anything for a draw? Or do we just do we get it per ship we destroy? Let's see. Yep, we got 250 resources gained. 250 dust, 250 science. 17 experience. And you can see the dropship gained some health there. Back up to 899 health. Gunship, oof. That guy's only alive by the skin of his teeth. Alright, so that's our last attack we can do with those guys. You know, I almost want to take these guys and run, but uh, that might not be the best idea. So we'll just end the turn and see what happens. Fourteen ships there. That's that's several fleets. They're going to be able to just sit there and pound on that fleet. So we'll see. Depends on which fleet attacks us first. If one of their bigger fleets with some mm, slicer seven, slicer six. So they got one slicer five and one drop ship. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess we can attack these guys, too, because they're going to, uh, let's take a look at advance. Post-op analysis. We don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. It looks like, you know, we still have to do the barrage fire. But they're going to have half their fleets in this flotilla over here, and this flotilla over here is going to be nowhere near us. So it's going to be like we're fighting half their fleet. And that's good. It's basically four on four. Um, one of their medium range ships is over here. So he'll be able to pepper away at us from long range. But uh, I don't think that's going to be too effective for him. So our timer's gone off. So we'll watch this. We'll finish out this turn. And then that'll be the end of the episode for today. Here's our battered flagship repairing itself what do we got here we're up to 1100 hull now 
And let's take a look at the overview camera, see where we're at. Yeah, so they are firing away at long range. There's one... Is that a ship destroyed or was that a missile destroyed? I think that might have been a ship destroyed. So yeah, we got these couple of ships firing at these couple of ships. But over here, they're just getting walloped. That's what we need. We need to take out these guys so they don't get to us in short range. Back to the auto camera. So we're going to take some damage. We might lose... We might lose a gunship. We might lose our flagship again. They are peppering away at the flagship back down to 287. But the flagship regenerates, so that's not the worst thing in the world. There we go. We took care of that whole flotilla, so that's four ships down. We're firing away at that guy. It'd be nice if we could take out that slicer five. Down to 300 health. Yeah, we lost our flagship there. Three quarters of the battle done. Uh, they've lost most of their long range ships. Now they've just got their command ship. He's down to 381, so we might knock him out of the fight too. So right now he's the only one doing damage to us. And there he goes, right there. So yeah, this is a crushing defeat for them. They should have, you know, they should have been able to beat us. We had four ships left. They had twice our numbers, and they're gonna end away. They're gonna. They're gonna end this battle with two ships remaining. Nice major victory. I mean, I guess they get their dropship back, so it finished three against four. We still have that one gunship. <laughs> so there we go. Nice victory, lads. Got some more population. We're gonna need those people to send into the army. All right, so let's uh, move our fleets. Didn't quite make it there. Looks like that lightning might actually make it <clears throat> before the rest of the fleet. Uh, so we could attack somebody else. Oh, looks like half their fleet must have moved out. Not a lot else going on. So what do they have in this vicinity here. What can we attack? So, oof. Butcher. Butcher 5, short range, short range. Slicer 7, short range. Slicer 6, short range. Just the dropship again. I mean, we might as well, right? Might as well. And this is what we're here for. Might might lose a gunship doing this. Well, let's take a look at the advance just to make doubly sure. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, did they put all their guys in one flotilla or no? That's a little bit more problematic for us. If they manage to fit all of their guys into the single flotilla, then uh, they might actually get close range to us. That's no good. Here we go. Let's deploy our turrets and such. And let's take a look at the overview. And yes, it is. So they, they could... They might have finally... Um, wised up here they by the end of this battle they could be in short range and uh that'll be no good for us definitely definitely no good if those butchers get within short range they're gonna do a lot of damage so let's see how we look in here one health on their flagship hopefully we could target that that would be nice but i think we're gonna Target these butchers down to half health. One of them is down to half health. A 
We lost our gunship. They lost... Come on, we gotta shoot at their flagship, people. Come on now. Gotta shoot at that flagship. Gotta take their flagship down before they take ours down. He's hiding behind that butcher. This could be a defeat. This could be a miscalculation on our part. There goes another gunship. We're gonna get within short range and they're... Oh, there they are. Look at that gunship getting roasted. Did not take long for that butcher to wipe out the gunship at close range. So you can see what we've been avoiding all this time. We've been avoiding those heavy plasma cannons of those butchers. Made short work of our gunship. Ouchies. Alright. So there we go. Uh, Maydeen has been injured and requires 20 turns to recover. So we're going to lose him for 20 turns, not 10. That's even worse. So there we go, our first defeat at the hands of the Cravers in a very, very long time. So we'll see if we can bounce back from that. We got our second, secondary fleets coming in here. We'll see what we can do about that. So until next time, uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.